Welcome back to Amethyst Adventures. I was nominated by Liz over at Decorating with Jazzy Green to do the Get to Know Me tag. So here goes. Now I'm going to work on a project while I'm talking to you. I hope you don't mind. And I will ask you to excuse me because I lost a little bit of footage at the very beginning of me starting the wreath. But I am going to show you the finish. So question number one. What is your favorite color as a child and now as an adult? Well, that's an easy one. It was purple then and it's purple now. It has always been my signature color. And not only do I decorate in purple, I also love to wear purple. Number two, where do you want to visit in this world? Well, as you know, and you've seen from my vacation videos, I am and have always been a traveler. But still, my bucket list is as long as my arm, honey. So in 2023, um, we're planning a trip to Hawaii. But number one on my bucket list is Egypt, Bali, Bora Bora, and Tahiti. Number three, what is your favorite restaurant or food? Well, soul food is by far and away my favorite type of food, period. Okay, but my wife, she's a Jamaican, and she is a fabulous cook. So I love hot and spicy Jamaican food as well. Favorite restaurant would have to be Ashford and Simpson Sugar Bar in New York City. Live entertainment and soul food that is lick your fingers good. Then I like the Palm for Steaks and McCormick's in Atlantic City for seafood. Number four, are you married or single? Well, you already heard me mention my wife and we've been married for seven years, but our love story began way before that. 32 years ago, it began. Honey, we hate up and broke up and made up and broke up until finally we just said, you know what? <laughs> this time we're going to stay together. And that brings me to question number eight. Eight, just because it asks for your favorite inspirational song. And I'm going to go ahead and say that is At Last by Etta James. It was our wedding song and it has special meaning to us. Since it took us 25 years to jump that broom. Oh yeah. So number five, do you have children? And if so, how many? I have one daughter. She's 30 years old. She's living down south with my granddaughter, who is six. Um, number six, why did you create your YouTube channel? Well, I've been asked this question before and same answer. I conceive my YouTube channel as a van life channel to talk about road trips and travel, but I quickly realized that I really didn't have enough content to fill a YouTube channel. So I rethought, and you know what? Decorating and DIY and crafting, those are my passions. So I switched directions and here I am almost two years later and doing pretty good on YouTube. Number seven, tell us the most inspirational thing you have experienced. A Bible verse, artwork, book, nature, uh, or a person. Well, favorite Bible verse, Matthew 7, 1. Judge not lest ye be judged. And um, I'm totally in awe of nature, especially falls. I just love to sit and look at a falls. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I've been to Niagara. Um, up here near the house, we have Bushco Falls and Hawk Falls. Raymond Scale, um, there's quite a few that I like. And I'm also inspired by engineering and architecture. I think that it has a beauty in and of itself. Like I admire the bridges, the tunnels, Georgian windows, turrets, contemporary design. I love it all. Number nine, what has been your favorite road trip or vacay? Well, that's pretty easy. When we drove to Key West, stopping in all the southern states and just experiencing the food and the, and the culture of the area, visiting beautiful wineries, which is something that we both love to do, 
And um, yeah, so that was my favorite road trip. Favorite vacation? Well, I love all of the Caribbean islands, but Aruba and Antigua are two of my favorites. Last but not least, question number 10. What is the biggest way you have changed since you were a child? And in what way are you still the same? Well, I've always been a caring, nurturing person. I've been a nurse for 35 years. I think I've spoken about that. I recently retired. I've always been very spontaneous, outgoing, very adventurous, and a bit of a wild child, you know, but way too gullible and easily taken advantage of. So I can say that the biggest way that I've changed is that now I'm more outspoken. I'm less of, I'm less of a pushover. I stand up for myself. Honey, I am unapologetically me. What you see is what you get. So that is it. That was question number 10. And I am going to nominate seven channels to do the get to know me tag. So number one, Simply Grace Lifestyle Channel. That is Anna's second channel. Um, Unique Decorations, Experiences, Debbie Bubbles, The Rogers House, Mabel's Tables, Blossom Your Creativity, and Irresistible Chic. Those are my seven nominees to do the tag, and I hope you ladies will participate in this tag. So thank you so much for watching today, and I hope it helped you to get to know me just a little bit more. So I'm just about finished with my project. And as you can see, it is very easy, but it is time consuming. So since I was working on that, I thought this would be a perfect time to do the tag. So make sure you watch all the way till the end and I will show you how I finish off the project. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. It helps out so much. And consider becoming part of the Amethyst Adventures family. It's free, it's quick, and honey, it's easy. Just go ahead and click on that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you will know when I upload a brand new video. And before I go, let me remind you about my open collaboration that I host with the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. Second Saturday of the month at 6 p.m. every single month, the Ladies of Elegance present Sophisticated Saturdays. So please make sure to support that. And we have an open playlist every Tuesday. Hashtag Tablescape Tuesdays 22. Simply upload a Tablescape video. It could be a countertop, coffee table, um, dining table, a side table, whatever type of table you like and decorate it in your choice of style and upload it Tuesday at 6 p.m. with the hashtag and we will find you. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you enjoyed this project and again, I hope it helped it let you get to know me just a little bit better. Until next time.